continued from Magic Orientation Sigma 3. Alright, the anomalous community? What's that mean? The anomalous community makes up all the people in the world whose lives involve the anomalous. People of all types imaginable. A patchwork of individual communities totaling a few hundred thousand people worldwide. That's probably more than you'd guess, but so it goes. And another reason why Sigma 3 is necessary. These are all people who are aware of and often are exposed to the anomalous world. For some of them, it's part of their daily life. Many of them have access to the Wonders Library, and most of them have heard of it. Many are involved in the so-called Anar community. Many are involved with the Global Occult Coalition and the Serpent's Hand. Even the Foundation itself has roots in the Anomalous community from a very long time ago. If you listen to some of the stories, no, that's not an official statement. I'm only repeating rumors. Take them as you will. How many actually have Anomalous capability? Well, that's an open question. A distinct minority are low-level type blues who can do little tricks or learn a few spells out of books. Mages, witches, magicians, soothsayers, etc. People like, well, me, before I defected to the Foundation. When we catch these people, we don't usually classify them as SCPs. The ones we've kept are mostly classified as anomalous items. Sigma-3 handles a good number of them. In terms of GOIs in the anomalous community, well, technically, they are all part of the anomalous community, in some way. But the bigger ones are… Well, let me get this slide working. Are we cool yet? The Chaos Insurgency. The Church of the Broken God. The Fifth Church. The Global Occult Coalition. The Horizon Initiative. Mana Charitable Foundation. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited. Office for the Reclamation of Islamic Artifacts. Oniroi Collective. Sarkic Cults. The Serpent's Hand. Unusual Incidents Unit. UIU. As you can see, that's most of them. AWCY. The Insurgency, the Fifthists, and the Sarkists are more. Fringe. Technically, so is the Church of the Broken God, but the so-called Devout are far more accepted in the anomalous community than you might think, except by Horizon allies. Mana, Horizon, and Aurea are the initiatives within the anomalous community, I guess you'd call them. MCND is just what you think it is. The rich people in the anomalous community are mostly all part of it or associated with it. And what a Roy, God only knows who the one Roy are, so I won't speculate. Then we have the two biggest ones, the Coalition and the Hand. The anomalous community sees the insurgency as a movement, more akin to the Sarkic cults than anything else. A movement to remake the world with strong religious overtones, despite the insurgency's professed atheism. People who want to become gods, destructive beyond all reason, and crazier even than the people who want to summon dark gods. Actually, even the people who want to summon dark gods tend to think of the insurgency as going too far. They're properly referred to as the Sowers of Discord and the Madmen. Keep in mind, these are literal death cults calling them that. The Insurgency won't be winning any popularity contests anytime soon, which is probably why they haven't. No, I digress. That's classified. Let's talk The Hand and The Coalition. The Global Occult Coalition is the big brother of the anomalous community. They're the cops and the executioners. They have 108 member organizations, all of them anomalous in some way, all of them shielded from us by the Coalition. The Coalition cares a lot about maintaining the so-called masquerade. They wish to preserve normalcy just as much as we do. But we aren't part of the anomalous community, and they are. Generally, all the respectable members of the anomalous community, or those in high society, are on board with the Coalition. 
They're called book burners because after their formation after the Seventh Occult War around World War II, they essentially enacted a hostile takeover of the anomalous community. Either you signed on with the coalition with Big Brother or you got crushed. Some elements of the coalition got on the wrong side of the library and they were mystically barred from it ever after. Just like us. Ironically, even though they crossed the library first, they were acting on information they got from us. But that's a story for another time. Suffice to say, many coalition members are still spitting mad about losing the library access. I suspect it caused the coalition to tamp down many of their activities. Them being barred made it a lot easier for people who hated the coalition to go underground. All they needed to do was get into the library. The Serpent's Hand is sort of the yin to the Coalition's yang. The Hand are a movement springing from the opposition to the Coalition's whole Big Brother thing, and to the idea of containing or suppressing the anomalous community. They're the radical activists of the anomalous community, but also the ordinary people who don't take to their equivalent of big government. The Hand takes all types, anyone who wants to join. So there's a lot of decent folk, and a lot of death cultists too. There's heavy overlap between the Hand and the fringe communities, obviously. Plus movements like religious cults or the occasional full-blown religion, like the Church of the Broken God, and anarchist groups. Hand types tend to dislike us too, but they like us better than the Coalition, because we try not to kill people. This is also why Sigma 3 can exist. Full disclosure, I used to be a member of the Serpent's Hand. I got into it through a college organization. Spent a few years in it before defecting to the Foundation. It's how I became a Type Blue, a magician. Not answering any questions about my incredibly interesting history, sorry. But I'll talk about the magician part in a bit. Right now, I think it's time for another break. Continued in Magic Orientation, the Library. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.